Okay guys, now you can clearly see how I made the doors too short. But, I think it was a great opportunity to clean up all of this when I was fighting with these holes, getting them covered up. So I think I'll take out these screws and then I'll just install this piece of sheet metal. And that'll be all smooth area. And should solve the problem. Okay guys, so here is the short spot in the doors. I got the doors, well they'll lay down rel relatively easy now. So the latches should pull them down easily, but I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. But here's the piece that I made to go in between the doors and it'll cover all that up and make the opening smaller. So should be a win-win situation. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put some Sika Flex over all these screw holes. I don't think they'd be a problem since I got primer on them anyhow, but just to keep them from resting from the inside out. <laughs> so I'm going with the cargo bay doors because I cross bucked them, or cross broke them, not bucked them. I, cro I made that cross break on them. I have to keep my handles off the cross break, which isn't any that big of an idea, but it's gonna make Shelly have to stretch a little bit farther to get them both at the same time. <laughs> but I'm feeling pretty good about it because I corrected what, ha what went wrong yesterday, so, and that actually worked out really nice, so it's kind of like we made some lemonade from our lemon situation. <laughs> and now I've calculated where this is gonna go because we're going to use these, I think they're called slam latches, toolbox latches, and they're, and they're all lockable. So I calculated this. Uh, let's see. That's, the latches are going to be like that. And so I set this behind there and like that and got my height there. So if, if anything, I actually made it, it might, it might go on a little bit too far, but I can easily shorten this versus shimming it up would be sloppy. So anyways, it might be just perfect, but so that's where I'm at is I'm ready to plunge this hole in there and see how that's going to go. <laughs> so my plan is to put these guys in and get them all fitted correctly. And then I'll just use 3 16 bolts to hold them while I do that. And then I can take them back out and we can uh, sand and prime and finish these with the top coat. And then I can put these guys back in with their gaskets and with... Uh, pop rivets so they won't be able to just unscrew them to get into the boxes. So there you go. You're up to date to this moment in time. Shelly's asking me about the sewer dump. And uh, I said, well, if we're in an RV park, we can just do this. Like that. But she's not real big on critters coming in the underbay. I think that's a valid point. So originally what I wanted to do was I wanted to make another door on this door right here, but that's not going to work because of where the latch has to be. So I think what we can do is go through the floor right here. If you look in here, see the hose. can actually make that corner and go out the floor. So I had to make a hole down there to bring this hose up through it and then screw it onto there. It's not super ideal, but there's nothing wrong with it. And then we would just have a plug that we put in the hole and a couple of nuts or something that hold it down maybe, I don't know. 
But that seems to be it. Maybe somebody on YouTube will say, hey, you should. I can't bring it out through there because there's an I beam there. I could. Yeah, oh yeah, if I go this way, I could come out right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, we could go right there. That's a clear hole. And then this could just turn and go like that down through the hole. And since we're not dumping anything but gray water, I don't think we're really going to have a chunky plug situation. <laughs> so I think that would be okay. The other thing, too, when we're out boondocking, I think we'll get that whatever. There's a cap that goes on there that a garden hose just hooks onto. And then if you're doing a continuous drain because we're only on gray water and we're where it's allowed, we could just, on that cap that we make, we could make a center hole in it for just a garden hose to go through. So in either scenario, we could let the water out and no critters in. I don't know. I have to keep thinking about it. But it's a very, it keeps happening where the design, because we don't have a master blueprint, keep running into these things, but we just solve them one at a time, then we'll get through it. We're gonna make it, baby. <laughs>